I had a crazy experience the other day in a Home Depot. Um, I went in there for all the wrong reasons. I went in there looking for string, which is apparently not what they're known for selling, you know? That's like, I guess that's like going to a Best Buy and being like, do you guys have napkins here? Like, it's just not what they're, um, but I went in there, I couldn't find it anywhere. And I asked a lady working there, I was like, hey, do you guys sell string here? And she was like, what do you mean by string? I was like, boy, what do I mean by string? <laughs> It's like, you know, like a thin version of rope, I guess, <laughs> you know, like, like string, right? And she was like, oh, you mean like to tie a Christmas tree onto the top of your car? I was like, no, no, that's rope, you know? Uh, it's also May, so, <laughs> and she was like, hold on, let me ask somebody else. She goes over to the guy, she's like, hey, do we sell something called string here? He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, oh, do you mean like to tie a Christmas tree on the top of your car? I was like, no, what is wrong with you people? Oh my God, I was trying to explain what string was. Have you ever tried to explain something that is so simple that you actually can't explain what it is? Because try explaining string sometime, it's not, it can't be done. I was like, it's dry, uh, it's fibrous, uh, it's real thin, uh, hopefully. Uh, it's, uh, it's like a straight line. It can go a lot of different directions. It's carbon based. Like, come on. I, I don't know. Like you've heard a string, right? And they're like, hold on, we're going to try one more thing. And they, they took me over to this supercomputer that had all of the data for anything any Home Depot has ever sold. And they're like, we are only human, but this machine will know. And they typed in the word string and they hit enter and I held my breath. And, and it, it came back and it said, no data retrieved. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Maybe string's not real. I was like, maybe I just came up with that myself one day. I was getting gaslighted by Home Depot on string. You know, I saw another guy work there who didn't even like, he just looked like the type of guy who'd heard of string before, you know, like he had like all of his teeth and his eyes were facing the same direction. And I, I didn't even want to find out where it was in the store at this point. I just wanted, I'd be like, hey, is string real? I've had a long day, you know, like, so, <laughs> And so I was just gonna go ask this guy if string exists. And the problem was he was walking the same direction I was. So I started walking a little bit faster to like catch up to him. And then he started jogging away from me. <laughs> and then uh, fast forward to me sprinting after this guy inside of a Home Depot. And I finally caught up to him and I tackled him to the ground. I was like, where the fuck's the string, man? And he looked up to me, he's like, we'll never tell you where it is. <laughs> and then he bit down on a cyanide capsule and just died in my arms. I was like, you bastard! <laughs> his dead body and then all of the walls fell down in every direction like this and it was just this open infinite home depot with infinite aisles and they all said string <laughs> and i started running through the aisles and the string was jumping off the shelves and it was tying around me and it tied me onto the top of the car real quick and then it was just tying beating me and abusing me and it threw me onto the ground and i just blacked out and i woke up outside of the home depot in the parking lot completely normal and i said okay what just happened? I got into my car. I broke down. I called my wife of 30 years. And I said, I love you. That is all I know. That is all I know. And I drove home to her. And we made love. And it was so true and raw and er earnest that for one moment in that lovemaking, for one moment, even though no two atoms can actually touch, it's just a vibration, you, you can't actually touch anything, you're inherently alone for your entire life. For one moment in that lovemaking, I felt not alone. Does that ever happen to you guys? Go to Home Depot and have earth-shattering sex with your wife after? I've been Joe Nonick, you guys have a great night.